Well, I wouldn't be concerned on a personal level, right? The chance right. that it's going to hit you is minuscule, one in billions. But the chance that it could hit someone is, is rather more high than I'm comfortable with. It's, it's uh, maybe a few percent. And so this is the second launch of the Long March 5B. And the first one, almost exactly a year ago, uh, had the same problem. Its, its core mm. stage was in orbit. It re-entered. And its debris crashed in the Ivory Coast. And uh, one, uh, a huge 10-meter-long rod uh, went through the, someone's roof in their house. And, mm. and so, so we know that there's a real risk from this. Why, why is it so hard to calculate where this is going to land? So this rocket is whizzing around the world pretty much horizontally at 18,000 miles an hour. And at some point, it's going to get low enough that it breaks apart and re-enters. But it's hard to predict because of space weather. Mm. Uh, there are space meteorologists, you know, yeah. uh, uh, exactly when that moment is going to be. And if you're an hour out in predicting when it breaks up, it's going 18,000 miles an hour, so you're 18,000 miles wrong in the location. Yeah. So it's really hard to know until after it's happened. But aren't these things typically, like, aimed at the ocean? I mean, what went wrong here? Well, it went wrong in the design phase. You're absolutely right. Uh, small rockets leave their upper stages in orbit and burn up, and, and nothing happens, and everyone's happy. Big rockets have this risk of debris, and so responsible space agencies design their big rockets. NASA designs mm. its big rockets so that the core stage doesn't end up in orbit. Uh, but China decided that they didn't want to bother to do that. Mm. Uh, they just wanted to take the risk and play the odds. Ah, the world's big. It's mostly ocean. It probably won't hurt anybody. Mm. Uh, and so that's, you know, that's a decision. That's a, a decision on the odds, but it's a different one from what every other rocket builder in the world has done for the past 30 years. So, so many launches by private companies. Are they managing the space traffic properly? That's a whole other problem that, that we're now in just an explosion of commercial activity in space. Lots of startups, lots of uh, new companies in space. So that commercial activity is now dominating what's going on instead of government activity. And yeah. the number of satellites in orbit is increasing like gangbusters. And the, so the near misses are happening all the time. Right. Jonathan McDowell. We'll watch for it. Ah. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.